I am currently taking a 34 hour reset so I figured that I'd just make a vlog like on a 34 hour with me um it is currently what time is it it is currently 9 28 and I got in last night from my load from South Carolina um, I got back to Georgia at around like 2 or 3 in the morning. It is so cold here, y'all. Like, I got here last night and it was in like the 40s. And today it's like in the high 50s. I want to cry. It is so, so cold. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do a 34 hour vlog with me. I do need to go to Walmart. I need to go to Best Buy. I'm going to start. Um, I need to go to Best Buy because I want to just buy a GoPro. Because I know, like, I knew that I had wanted one for my channel. But I didn't realize that people would actually watch me. Or at least, like, not right away. So I'm going to go figure that situation out at Best Buy. Um, if you guys know any good, like, cameras or anything like that, I also want to get, like, um, a camera under my mirror um that way like y'all can see as i'm driving and stuff and yeah i am gonna go look into getting a gopro at best buy after i go to walmart and then i might just go to like a dog park get something to eat come back and most likely do a truck tour in with this vlog so yeah i am gonna go get ready and then i will be right back i'm back that did not take long i literally I was gonna do my makeup and like actually get dressed or whatever to take pictures for Instagram but like I'm not gonna do that because literally I just want to stay in this all day I just want to be in sweatpants and slippers and chill so yeah I am gonna get gas though because they didn't dispatch me on a fuel route yesterday and when I got here like my um fuel light was on so just in case even though like the stores that i'm going to are right at the road just in case i'm gonna just get gas um at the terminal here and then i will take you guys with me um in the stores even though i get anxiety doing that but i'm gonna do it today so yeah okay so i'm gonna go try and figure out how <laughs> to work the gas pumps at this terminal because all of the pumps are like super super old and i don't know i've only gassed up one other time at a terminal usually i don't gas up at terminals because i like getting um rewards for gas obviously like i don't want to keep getting gas at terminals or whatever but yeah the pumps are literally so old and it's always different everywhere like I don't even know what pump I'm at. I think I'm at four. But yeah. Okay, so I just slid my cards asking for my unit number. see what I'm doing anyway I think I think it was four I'm gonna pray yeah it's four driver license number oh my god y'all it is so cold oh shit ah I don't know how to okay Okay. I'm just entering my driver license um, state and number. Okay. This one actually wasn't bad. Okay. It's ready for me. So, I don't have nowhere to put y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna put it. Should I even try to put y'all somewhere? Or should I just get get gas? Oh, oh, I just don't want my camera.
Yeah. I don't know why. But it's not working. <sighs> it's my look. I don't know why it wouldn't be working though. Let me try and do the other side maybe. I don't know y'all. Like I said, I do not get stuff with these terminals because literally look how old the pumps are. Like, why do I feel like I'm in like... Okay, yeah. I think it might be because I didn't put this one in. I'm hoping. But really it should be the other way. Yeah, I don't think this works. <laughs> I really don't think it works. <sighs> it doesn't work. Yeah. But. Hold on. Okay, I ended up trying it one more time <laughs> before I left him. Um, it's working now, so I don't know. I don't know, but... I'm gassing up right now, or fueling up. I'll be saying gassing up all the time, whatever. Y'all know what the fuck I mean. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna get diesel and then get on my way. I feel like today's not gonna be as, um, what's the word? I don't know, y'all. I wanted to get a lot productive. I feel like today is not going to be as productive as I wanted it to be. But you know what? It is what it is. So I'm going to let this fuel do its thing. And then I'm going to see y'all wherever I go first. I don't even know. I'm just let today do whatever today wants to do at this point. I'm at Walmart. Y'all look at him. He's so sad every time that I leave him. But oh wow. Y'all I took a I probably should I probably should have parked closer because I'm low key far. But look at him. I'm about to I'm trying to think of like what I need before I actually go in because I feel like every time that I go into Walmart I'm there for like oh he's already barking I feel like I'm in there forever y'all he's barking man I'm about to go I'm about to go close the windows and close the blinds hold on y'all look at him so dramatic for what <laughs> he he has like super super bad separation anxiety so like when I was bartending before I drove trucks oh, when I was truck uh, bartending before I drove trucks he like hated it because I would be gone now he's too used to being with me put these windows up and close these blinds hold on okay we're good oh my god he already moved the blinds so Freaking but yeah so like I was saying like usually I need to start writing stuff down everybody tells me that too but like I never do but when it comes to like shopping I just I don't even really know what I like to eat anymore. Like as weird as that sounds, cause being on the road, like I obviously can't eat the same type of stuff that I used to eat, if that makes sense. So I don't even know, but I'm just gonna get, I know that I need to get snacks, probably like lunch meat and stuff like that. Um, and then honestly, I wonder if Walmart sells like GoPros or something. I feel like they should, but I'm gonna see. Okay, so I got like all the food stuff. I think I just have a mess of stuff. Literally, I don't even know. But 
I just need to go to Best Buy still to get the GoPro. I honestly will probably just end up doing a truck tour at the end of this and then not even going to Best Buy today and just go tomorrow. Um, but yeah. He was so happy to see me back. But I'm about to just put all this stuff. I spent like $150 and I feel like I didn't get anything, but you know, it's life, I guess. So I'm about to just put all this in, take him for a walk really fast. And then, like I said, I don't know if I even feel like going to Best Buy anymore, to be honest. I might just wait till I go home um, the beginning of November to get like, <laughs> to get the, the GoPro and everything set up. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys know what I end up doing. <laughs> okay, so back at the terminal now. Um, I like got all the groceries and stuff put away while I was in the Walmart parking lot. And then um, I'm back here now, so I'm just going to do a truck tour. I want to get certain things in my truck that I don't have yet so I will be doing an updated truck tour probably in a few months um when I get like everything that I want also if I have any truckers that watch me that know like where I can get good quality seat covers for a Freightliner let me know because I have been trying to find good quality seat covers for so long and I cannot find anything I don't know why Okay, so this is obviously the front of my truck. Nothing special, just the usual things. And see, this is exactly why I want seat covers. Because when I got this truck, the seats were fucking nasty. Like, usually I have palms on um, blankets and stuff, which I just washed them the other day. They're right there. I need to re-put them there because, like, what? That is so gross. But yeah, this is the front of my truck. Um, I actually just put this here because... I'm gonna start writing stuff down like my business ventures just stuff that's on my mind or whatever I want to start writing so I'll probably make that like a daily thing to do once I stop my truck trucking after post trip and everything um in this I really just you guys can't even see but I really just have my wallet and my sunglasses at all times in here that way it's easy access for me when I'm driving and I also um have all of I have a lot of them in here, but yeah. I also have all of my um, glad hand seals in here. That way it's easy access as well if a trailer's missing any glad hands or I need to replace any. Um, I have um, my spare bulbs and my spare fuses as well. Right in here. Um, you always want those to be in your reach just to just in case like a DOT officer is giving you a hard time or something because they are supposed to be technically in your reach at all times so I just keep them right there um, also another thing that you want in your reach is your book so I just keep it in the side pocket right here <laughs> um, um, I keep it in the side pocket right there I did get pulled over the other day to do a DOT inspection and thank god everything was fine which I already knew because I do my pre-trips but yeah anyway um, I just have like some pens and stuff in here I keep my headset here when I'm not driving um, I wish that there was somewhere I'm gonna get a CB radio and then I can just hang my headset like off of the radio thing because usually when I'm driving if I keep it up here it'll just fall down which is super annoying because I don't like to wear my headset all the time because um, honestly like I barely ever talk on the phone when I'm driving <laughs> and then this one is kind of a mess but it's like all of my chargers all of that type of stuff and then this side is just like medicines cough drops i have um advil i have benadryl i have like band-aids and stuff in the back whatever up here is kind of chaotic so i'm not going to show you guys too deep but i have a couple pairs of shoes on each side honestly i don't know why those are still there because sometimes they do fall when i'm driving um but whatever and then i have like my vacuum and stuff in here which honestly this vacuum dies and like three seconds wouldn't recommend um and then i just have like face masks and some more paperwork and whatever for the truck um all of his toys and like chew bones all of that are right here so he just kind of picks from them as we ride along and then this basically has like all of my vitamins all of my hair stuff q-tips flossers wipes literally all of my like hygiene products basically um stuff for my face all of that 
and this one is kind of a mess right now i do need to go back and reorganize but this is basically just palms like extra um treats and some of his just like grooming products as well like i have his brush i have a shot collar um i have like his sprays and whatever flea and tick prevention all of that stuff for him and then this is not organized so do not judge me but this is basically just like a bunch of snacks and stuff in there i obviously do not eat healthy on the road oops whatever my microwave and then as i said these blankets just need to go um on that seat this thing i don't know where to put it it's like a makeup organizer but i ran out of room in my little makeup section so i just keep it there for now and then this drawer just has snacks silverware my fridge i don't know why but my light like barely works now there we go um yeah it's chaotic but yeah um obviously my bed which is a mess because palm goes on it and messes it up every time and then in here i just have this now so basically okay when i first started trucking i didn't have like drawers or anything up there so basically all of my clothes and like everything that i had was just in this one little compartment and the thing with this is it is a lot of storage but there's no way to organize what you have so like i couldn't even find anything that i was looking for because everything was just stacked on top of each other and another thing is with this when you do like have all your clothes just stacked up like that you go to open it after like you've been on a trip or something you go to open it and all of your stuff falls out because it's so high up so it just makes no logical sense i don't know why they don't put like shelving in these or something that way it's like more stable and organized I'm not quite sure why they don't do that but yeah long story short i went and i got drawers if you are a solo driver I would definitely recommend getting drawers like this. I got mine at Target. I think that the bigger ones were like $30 each. And then that smaller one was a little less, like $25 or something. Um, but honestly, like, it's a lifesaver. I know Walmart has some too. You can get them basically anywhere. Um, but yeah, so long story short, I ended up doing this, which works way better. I just have, like, my all of my, like, Nike Pros, like, leggings and whatever in that one, PJs. And then I have just, like, sports bras and everything, my underwear, socks. Um, here I have all my hair tools, so, like, curling irons, flat iron, whatever, my beauty blenders. Um down here i just have like two bins full of like makeup and stuff that i don't usually use um there's another one behind it then i usually i keep his food in this instead of keeping his bag out because this is like airtight and it just kind of like you know it's not as big as his bag i keep bags of food under my bed i'm not gonna put my bed up because it's very unorganized <laughs> but under my bed okay so these trucks usually have a lot of storage i know freightliners it's cr like a crazy amount of storage under your bed um so i keep like all of my shoes all of my sneakers and everything under my bed um it's mainly the ones that i really only wear like a couple pairs of shoes usually um but i have a lot with me all the time i'm probably gonna start wearing them um more i don't know but yeah, so that's what I have under my bed, and then um, a couple other things too. And then up, oh wait, up here is like all of my cleaning supplies and stuff. I have like Clorox wipes, I have like sprays behind it, Windex, Clorox, all of that. Um, obviously, paper towels, I have a couple rolls, Dawn. Um, I like having Dawn dish soap in my truck because sometimes, like, I'll go to a gas station, actually a lot of the times, I'll go to a gas station to like um, wash my windshield and I don't know why but for some reason a lot of them do not put like um, windshield cleaner in the water buckets where like the windshield things are. So a lot of the times I just like to carry Dawn dish soap because you just squirt a little bit of it in, in, in there and you're good to go. All of your stuff's coming off your windshield so that's 
why I have that. I don't be washing plates or nothing. Everything's paper plates, paper utensils, everything. Um, okay. This is like kind of my makeup area, which as uh, you guys know, if you watch my previous videos, the bag with most of everything of my makeup got stolen, but I ended up um, going to Ulta the other day and I kind of like re-upped on some of the stuff that I like used more often than others. Um, in this one, I do have like my washcloths and stuff folded up. I have some sunglasses. Um, book. And then this one barely has anything right now, but it's just like my makeup products and whatever, which again, I have yet to fill it up really because I'm missing all of my makeup basically. Um, but yeah, so this is where most of my makeup is going to go um, once I figure that situation out. And then I keep extra water bottles up here because there's nowhere to really um, put them on the floor that wouldn't be in my way. So yeah, that is my laundry basket. I have my laundry in a bag right now because I am about to go in and do some laundry. And I'm about to pull this ladder out to show you guys just how much stuff that like you could fit in the drawers because they don't look that big. But I'm gonna show you guys what I do to like organize my drawers. So basically I still have to fill these ones this is gonna be like my sets or whatever um, I haven't completely organized everything yet but yeah so let me show you guys so like as an example if you roll your stuff up you could fit quite a bit of stuff um, I could literally do another layer on top of this layer but I have like enough room to fit all of my stuff how it is so yeah this is basically I keep my hats up there um, that's not all of them a lot of them are under my bed as well but yeah I just like rolling everything and it honestly just makes everything super like organized and yeah so it's the same in that one too a lot of this side is like just like shirts jackets all of that some like leggings and stuff as well but yeah y'all that and then that is just like a shower bag but yeah that is basically that's basically everything in my truck so like i said though i do want to get like different things i want to get a rug in here i just i don't know like what type of rug i want and honestly i'm kind of scared to get a rug because palm doesn't know how to act with rugs and I don't know if he would pee on it still, but when he was a puppy, he would always pee on rugs. It was partially my fault because I used to um, train him with pee pads. So I think like he would confuse a rug for a pee pad sometimes. Um, I don't think that he would pee in the truck anymore because he's like, he just turned one. And he does super good. He's never had any accidents in the truck or anything like that. So I don't know. I might just look into getting one to see. Because even if he does whatever, I'll just throw it away. I just don't know, like, what type I want or whatever. So I will be doing, like, an updated truck tour when I, like, kind of personalize it a little bit more. Um, but, yeah, that is basically it for my truck tour. And now I'm about to just go inside and do some laundry. Okay, so this is the bathrooms and the terminals. And it's basically the same concept as um, the showers and the truck stop. Uh, basically it's like the same type of thing but yeah I'm about to shower and then go eat something and take a nap before I have to go pick up my load because my 34 hours are already over <laughs> So that is going to be the end of this video. I'm going to quickly put it together um, and post it before I go. That whole shower and laundry process took way longer than it should have because I ended up like talking to people and then there was no more showers available after I was done talking. So it was just a mess. But I do have to go get my load in a couple hours. My 34 hour just um, got finished. So. I need to go pick up my load and I will be driving all night so I do need to take a nap because I have been up early. So that is all. Always um, 
comment ideas as well. I said this in the last video, but comment ideas on what you guys want to see. As I said earlier, I am going to be getting a GoPro and stuff so that you guys can kind of see my day-to-day -day process um, as like an actual truck driver and me driving and stuff because I'll just get the headpiece or whatever or the dash cam as well. I don't really know how it works, so y'all just let me know what you want to see and I will figure out how to go about doing it.